Good afternoon mga Kamax. Here's the latest news update brought to us by 95.9 Max News FM Jensen, courtesy of Inquirer.net Philippines. The camp of presidential aspirant former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. today dismissed the petitions to disqualify him from the 2022 presidential race as cheap political gimmicks. Marcos spokesperson Vic Rodriguez issued a statement in light of a fresh petition filed before the Commission on Elections or Comelec opposing the candidacy of the son and namesake of former dictator Ferdinand Marcos. So far, three petitions to have Marcos disqualified from the presidential race have been filed before the poll body. Rodriguez pointed out that the COMLEC has no jurisdiction to review, amend, modify, or nullify decisions of the Commission of Appeals. The new petition, like the first two, claims that the 1997 conviction of Marcus by the Court of Appeals for failure to file income tax returns from 1982 to 1985 is a clear ground to disqualify him from running for public office. They also claim that Marcus made a material misrepresentation in his certificate of candidacy by claiming he was eligible to run. A group of act- activists, on the other hand, the campaign against the return of the Marcuses and martial law, whose members were imprisoned during martial law, have asked Kovalec through a petition to disqualify Marcos on the grounds that he was barred from running for public office for life because of his conviction for tax evasion. The group warns that allowing Marcos to run would render difficult, if not impossible, any unclaimed human rights reparations, the recovery of the bulk of the ill gotten wealth plundered by the Marcuses and their cronies during the years in power of the dictator Marcus Sr. The candidacy of Bongbong Marcus also might lead to a whitewashing and further proliferation of historical revisionism of the gravely inhumane abuses and extremely grand corruption committed during the Marcus dictatorship as they added. That's the latest news update this afternoon, brought to us by Max Capsule, VY Max Coffee, and 95.9 Max News FM, General Santa City.